Hey, Scary Mommies, it's Makayla, and I'm here live at the Grio Oscars After Party. This is where presenters, award winners, nominees are coming to celebrate diversity and inclusion. How important do you think it is for children to see faces that look like them on TV and in films? I think it's, it makes the world of difference. Those, those types of tools where we go to see other cultures, how other people live. I, I can't go everywhere in the world, but I can turn on the TV. It's important that we put different people's cultures up, different walks of life up in the media and on television. So that's how we learn about each other. But most importantly, it's important to see ourselves that we feel we feel counted, especially for our kids that they see themselves. So you're in the new Mulan? Oh my goodness. So many children are so excited. So how important is diversity and inclusion, do you think, in film and television? I think it's the most important thing in film and television. Uh, I'm South Asian. Usually people have no idea what I am. And uh, it's just, you know, reminding people that, like, whether your skin looks different or, you know, you come from a different place, like, our stories are very similar. And I think that's kind of the key is storytelling in, in film. Like, You know, the world needs to look like what it looks like, at least America. And, you know, everybody needs to be represented. Uh, they need to be identified for their talent. Parasite just won. I'm really excited as an Asian. Like, I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty epic. What did that win mean for you? I believe that it changes the game in Hollywood and then it, it would open us, like, you know, actress from different country. Um, I was just talking about Hair Love. It was one of those films that I kind of watched and it's like, God, I'm getting so emotional watching it. It was just such a great film and it's so important, you know, what even just talking about fathers taking active parts in their daughters' lives and just embracing our natural hair. You know, it was just a so touching thing. And just to see the mom at the end rocking her bald head. Yes, rock that bald head, mom. It's all right. I'm still crying over the whole crock pot situation. Mm -hmm. Okay? You got any tips, any 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 hints for us about what's coming up? Uh, no, because I can't talk about it. <laughs> Are we going to be crying every week? There's more to come. That's There's all I more to come. Um, I think we have crying, but we have really good crying. So you always take away uh, a very important message, a lesson, um, something uh, you relate to each character um, in a very beautiful way. And that's the beauty of This Is Us, is that we put ourselves in these people's shoes. If they can see that other people like me and like you and like my brother and like other people that look like us are rocking and rolling and that we are powerhouses, we are articulate, uh, we are professional, we are creative. You know, there's so many different aspects about humans in general, but about the black community, that it has to be something that's used on platforms that's exemplified. Diversity and, and inclusion should not be an afterthought. It should be from the onset, in the creative process. Think about the different cultures and the different people, the different backgrounds that you can include in your script. Because if it's there in the creative process, then it'll show up on screen. We're a melting pot. We're all in this thing together. And so unless we come together, we're gonna fall apart.